a kid I used to love to hang out in the toy store. Well, I haven't grown up any. I'm still at the toy store. The 70 year old man toy store. Let's go in there and buy some goodies. Good day, friends. Walter here. Thought I'd share a Harbor Freight haul with you today. Here's a nice pair of Hardy Mechanics gloves. In the store, they list for $5.99, but I found them for $3.99 in this sale book. This sale book right here, it comes to the house. It says uh, Harbor Freight Inventory Closeout. I noticed a good many of the items that I wanted to purchase that I had looked at the catalog last night were listed for a cheaper price in here than they were listed on the shelf in the store. And I had to give them the numbers. I didn't have the coupons cut out. But I made them stick to the prices that are in this book. I'll show you a few examples. When I first went in the store, I asked him, if I just give you the number of the coupon, is that good enough? He said, yeah. So I had some coupons that came to me online. My printer don't work. So I just wrote the coupon number down on a piece of paper. And when I got the product up there to the cash register, I just gave her the coupon number. Worked out pretty good. I'm going to try some of these mechanics gloves, they call them. They were listed for $5.99. Got them for $3.99, but you could work on your car or whatever. It's got a thin leather palm and a heavy duty weave for the back. But you can do more than that than you, with these gloves than you can with the little work gloves that I've been wearing. So we're going to have fun with them. And I'll share a few of the other things I bought with you. First item I'm going to share with you today is my pole saw. The box is too big to get into the camera at this range, but the thing is adjustable lengths anywhere from 6, 8, 10 foot long. We're going to do some serious limb lopping with it. And I'll probably make a separate video about the saw itself. For my viewers to learn more about it. Uh, I guarantee you it's going to be easier to operate than me climbing a ladder out there. To cut them limbs off in a tree. And my idea is to sit on my lawnmower and do it if I can. But you got to take into consideration. This son of a gun is heavy. But I got some ideas in my mind about how to make a support overhead to help hold it up. I'm going to play around. If I have to get up off my butt to do it, I will. And the picture here on the box shows some guy reaching up to cut the limb. So we're sure going to try that out. In my catalog, the saw was listed for $79 on one page, a Portland electric saw. On another page, they had an electric pole saw listed for $63.45 or something like that. $63, $64. But it didn't say Portland. I asked them where that saw was, and they said, that's the same one. So when I got up to the cash register, I showed her the saw in the book. I got this saw for $69 or $63 and something, plus a 20% off coupon. So we're going to have fun playing with that little toy. Next item I'm showing off here today is an electric chainsaw sharpener. Whether it actually works good or not, we don't know. We'll make a separate video about that too when we learn how to sharpen a chainsaw. But you know, if I get to cutting a whole lot of limbs out there, my chainsaws are going to get dull. I asked them, would they sell me chains separate? And they said, no, they don't sell the chain separate. Maybe the manufacturer will let you order one, but you pay just as much as you would have for the whole saw. I bought a Sawzall. Now, I've got my battery-operated Sawzall in the basement. It's charging broke. But now that I've got my generator working, I don't know why I can't use a full-fledged electric sawzall. 
When I built this house, I used a sawzall for practically everything. You can't go wrong with a sawzall, especially cutting limbs and stuff. Reciprocating saw, I think, is probably the proper term. What else did I buy? Let's see, I bought a pack of cutoff wheels, four and a half inch cutoff wheels. I bought shop towels, uh, seven mil knife nitrate, rubber gloves. Get tired of messing up my hands when I'm out here, when I'm out here doing things. And I got some more little goodies, but I'm telling you, Walter had fun in there. It was like a kid in a candy shop in that harbor freight today. Y'all would have been right proud of me. Got me another roll of welding wire from my welder. A pair of rubber gloves for nasty work, like changing oil on this lawnmower. Pack of microfiber cloths, cleaning cloths. They were free. They were free with a coupon. Had my wife ring it up separate, so we get two. We actually use two 20% off coupons. Here's my reciprocating saw. Chicago electric power tools. Already got some blades here. We'll give it a demonstration when we do our limb lopping. Here's a couple little dim dandies. Little magnet squares for welding. Help you keep things straight when you're tack welding them. I'm going to be sometime during the winter, we're going to do my blacksmith project, so I know I'm going to need more welding wire. That's going to, why I went ahead and bought the wire. Want me a little old inexpensive pry bar? We're going to try it out there on some of them ring shank nails, even if I have to drive it down in the wood. See if we can pull nails with that little booger bear. $2.99 each got me a couple C clamps. I can always use more clamps. Here's a little goodie grubber I got on sale from my book. A pack of 29 piece titanium drill bits. Now you know and I know they're not the greatest drill bits in the world, but they're, they'll uh, do until something better comes along. I just made them stick to the sale price on that. I think I got them for like $13. These little old vice grips, got all three of them for $6.99. On the store in the shelf, they listed them as $9.99. And I know and you know, they might not be like real vice grips, but they'll do something better comes along. I'm all time need to clamp something. If you ever go to Harbor Freight, be sure to get you a free tape measure. 25 foot. I've got, the last two or three times I went over there, I got one of these. So I've got a whole assortment of 25 foot tape measures around here. And it's really a pretty dang good tape measure. They listed in the store for $5.99, something like that. The free is better than $5.99. Here's a handy little item. A whole box of hose clamps. I'm all the time needing a hose clamp. I can't think how many times I've been over there at a hardware store and bought a couple of hose clamps and they charge you like two or three dollars a piece for them. 
Here, I got a whole box of them. For like $5.99. If I never use one, it don't matter. I'll have them when I need them. I haven't covered everything I bought, but I covered a good portion of it. So look for our upcoming limb lopping video. My idea on the lawnmower, especially on this one, when I get my craftsman with a steering wheel on it, I'll be able to negotiate it better, but it takes both hands to drive this booger. But I'm thinking on my generator trailer, a pole about that tall bent like a big L, like a little small crane whip with a bungee cord on it. But hold my extension cord up, plus help me hold that pole up when I'm trying to do it from a sitting position. Anyway, we're going to have fun playing with that. I was going to do some limb lopping today, but Walter has spent all day paying bills and delivering stuff and making a harbor freight run. So you can look forward to me sharpening chainsaws like a professional, cutting limbs like a wild man, screwing hose clamps like a maniac. That's going to conclude my vlog for today. I do appreciate you tuning in and be sure to Catch my upcoming videos when we get out here and go to demonstrating all that stuff. Where was Harbor Freight when I needed them when I was building things before? I paid top dollar for many a tool. You know you're going to wear them out anyway. But as, as you saw in my generator running video yesterday, it works pretty darn good. So. Be on the lookout for the limb lopping man.